Hey girls, it's Tuesday. Unfortunately, I'm not in a very scenic location showing you the Hogwarts library or showing you the Great Hall. I'm just in my bed. But, you know what? It's spring break. I'm relaxing. I'm having a good time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, reading good books, and that's completely fine. Also, tomorrow I'm going on a great road trip with my friend Helena, who you've seen on this channel a bit, and we're going to look at colleges and go to thrift stores. It is very exciting. Now, this video is going to come to you in three parts. Part one is books, part two is things I've been doing over break, and part three is a story about what happened today. Part one. I am currently reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, and another book called Unorthodox by Deborah Feldman. And that one is floating around somewhere. I don't have the cover to show you. This one I've just started. I'm only like 20 pages in. And it's written by Randy Riggs, who's a friend of John Green's, and he's recommended this multiple times. It's quite interesting. I like the prose. It's the, the fashion of how the book travels through time and the narrative is really interesting, and I think I'll enjoy getting through it. Part 2. What have I done so far this break? Well, on both Friday and Saturday, I went to two different seders for Passover. One was with a bunch of temple friends, and one was with um, family members mostly. They're both enjoyable. I enjoy seders. I enjoy all the delicious food that we get to eat, and I really like eating parsley because I'm really strange, and parsley is good, and that's part, so that's something you get to do. <laughs> I also eat haroset, which is like an apple nut mixture, and it's the most delicious food in the world, and I've consumed so much haroset just eating it all the time, plain by itself out of a bag. I'm going to include a photo right here of my family dressed up in strange costume. Part 3. Today, I was out driving around by myself doing some errands. I went and mailed something, and then I bought um, some index cards, just simple little things like that. And then, I was kind of about to head home, and I realized I wanted to go to the mall to go to Sephora to get a present that I'm planning to give to both Grace and Catherine. And it's not a big thing, it's just a little small thing, but it was a piece of the present that I wanted to get both of them. And so, I decided to drive to the mall, and I got completely lost driving to the mall, because it's not the one I usually go to, and I'm not good at streets, and I was just like, oh, it's, it's over there, like over in that direction. You go down that street for a little bit, and then you turn right, and it should be there. And it wasn't there because I turned on the wrong street. So I spent 45 minutes getting to the mall. It's four, It's less than 10 minutes from my house, and I spent 45 minutes trying to get there. I had to call my dad and ask him how to get there. Ugh. So I get to the mall, and malls scare me because there's lots of people, and lots of entrances, and lots of doors, and lots of parking, and just people. And so I parked in the wrong area, but I didn't feel like getting in the car and driving away. So I just walked all the way across the mall to get to Sephora. And I get to Sephora, and I find the section where they would carry this item. And, of course, it's not in stock, because that's exactly how everything works for me and I was just like all of the things I will destroy them guys but it's okay I'll find a Sephora on the road trip that I'm going on probably and I'll get you guys that present eventually though I do want to ask do you have any guesses as to what I was trying to get you at Sephora both of you because there's probably not a, pro a lot of products that I would personally get anyone really any of my close friends at Sephora so if you guys have any ideas, that would be interesting to hear what you think. Grace, I will see you online tomorrow and in a couple days. I will see a good number of you IRL.